Vision Forward's In Focus team presents. Hi, I'm Corey Ballard, and welcome back to another tech demo. Today, we are doing a tech demo on using an omnidirectional barcode scanner with your computer to identify products. We release assistive technology videos every Friday and we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel and click that notification so you are notified when new videos are released. Today we're looking at an interesting device and it's not actually a specific device. We're looking at how to use an omnidirectional barcode scanner connected to your computer so that you can identify any item that has a UPC code. So first, let's talk a little bit about what some of this verbiage and terminology is. Now, every product, uh, uh, most retail products have what's called a UPC code on it. If you've ever been to a grocery store, you know, they take your product and they put it over that scanner and you hear the beep, that's what a UPC uh, barcode is. And we are gonna utilize that in conjunction with a omnidirectional barcode scanner so that we can identify products in our home. An omnidirectional barcode scanner, they come in many different flavors. It can be uh, a USB connection to your computer or it could be a wireless connection via Bluetooth. And then it is gonna have uh, uh, what they call an omnidirectional. And so it is sending out uh, a signal in all different directions looking for the barcode. Well, what that means to us is that an omnidirectional barcode scanner makes it really, really simple for us to sc uh, scan barcodes. We don't have to line it up with the camera exactly. We just need to get that barcode close to that omnidirectional scanner and it's gonna do all the work for us. You may be interested or you may be aware of other barcode scanners made specifically for those living with vi vision loss, such as the ID Mate uh, line of uh, devices. Those have a barcode, bil uh, bar a barcode database built right into them, which is pretty cool if you're out and about. But if you're just at home or you don't have that uh, $1,200 to get that ID Mate, what is a cheaper solution? And that's what we're doing today. So we have our barcode scanner set up here right on our table. We've got our computer up and going here. And so my barcode scanner is connected to the computer via USB. And there's two websites we're gonna look at in this video. First, we're gonna look at Directions For Me, which is a website produced by uh, Horizons out of Illinois. And the second uh, website we're gonna look at is Digit Eyes. So first, let's go move on. Uh, let's move to Horizons or the Directions For Me website. I've got it set as a favorite here. All deaf, contact B, bookmarks has bookmarks menu, directions for me, enter, leaving menus, address and search bar edit, directionsformer.org, direct, direct. All right, we are at the Directions For Me website, and in the top right corner is a search box where we want to move our screen reader to, if we're a screen reader user. In this video, I am using JAWS, but it doesn't matter which screen reader you use, JAWS, NVDA, Narrator, they're all gonna work great with the Directions For Me site. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just gonna hit my E key to move to the first edit box. Search edit, search. And we're going to go Enter. ahead and go into forms mode and we are ready to scan our first barcode. I'm going to take my product here. I'm going to hold it in front of our barcode scanner and I'm going to wait for that beep. If I don't get it right away, I'll spin my product a little bit until it sees the barcode. Ah, we got Zero, it. 0160003 nut. It went ahead and put in the barcode. It's a long digit. And now I know that the, the Directions For Me website utilizes headings to show me the different search results. So I'm gonna use my H key to move by heading and let's see if it was able to find this product. List of four items. Search results for left bracket zero, zero, zero. Betty Crocker with buttercream frosting visited heading level two link. And right away we land on Betty Crocker whipped buttercream frosting. So it was able to identify that product for us. Now, 
One little side note for directions for me, we could actually activate this link and move to the actual product page and learn more about it. It's, it's nutrition facts, uh, cooking directions, things like that. But in this video, we were only looking to identify a product. Now let's take a look and say we want to do another product here. So I'm gonna go up to the top of the page. Search. I'm gonna move back to my edit box. Search edit, center. And let's go to another, um, Zero. Oh, we're gonna first, let's clear out that one in here. So I'm just Selected. gonna do, Blade. select all and delete. And let's take a second product. Now we have a spice here. Let's see if we can figure out what spice this is. Zero five two five nine three one. There we five. go. We got our beep. Now we'll use our heading key again. Search results. McCormick garlic salt heading level two link. And right away we can find out it's garlic salt. We've got one more. We'll try here. We'll go up to the top of the page. E again for our edit box. Search edit. Enter. Let's clear out our old Selected. Uh, item here. We've got one more here. A big guy here. We're going to see if we can figure out what this is. Turn. Zero three seven six zero zero one. We'll go up to our use our H key to move by heading again. Search results for left bracket zero wrapping to top. Search ah, results for left. Now that tells me something. Let's do a little down here on this search result. Blank. Zero matching products. Ah, here's a product that is not in the directions for me website. Unfortunately, with this solution, there is no way for me to go ahead uh, and add it uh, at this point. And so two out of three uh, products we were able to identify. But there is also another website that we can use called Digit Eyes. Digit Eyes, if, any, if you are familiar, it is actually a, an iPhone and Android app that you can use on your phone. Stay tuned to our channel. We will have an upcoming video specifically on using Digit Eyes on your smartphone. But today we are going to use the Digit Eyes website in order to use their barcode database. We're gonna to go to our favorites. Alt F, B, bookmarks menu, digit dash eyes UPC. And we'll go to Leave digit eyes website. Page has one heading and 68 digit. In about the center left of our screen, we do have that UPC search box. We're gonna use our E key again. Find the UPC slash in code now, edit. Perfect. Enter. And this time let's start with that same product that was not on directions for me. And let's see if digit eyes database has this product. Hold in front of our barcode, we'll turn. There it is. Zero three seven six zero zero one. Just like directions for me, the Digit Eyes website also uses headings, so we'll use our H key. List of three items. Wrapping to top. Peanut butter spread heading level five. And we find out that it is peanut butter spread. I could down arrow and take a look at some more information about this product, what uh, manufacturer or some of the ingredients, but I did, I was able to identify that it is creamy peanut butter. So this product uh, is in the Digit Eyes database. Let's take a look at the other two though and see if, if Digit uh, Eyes can do three for three. So we'll go back up to the top of the page. Find the UPC center. We'll move back to our box here. We'll clear it out for us just to make sure it was clear. We'll take our uh, same item again from our uh, directions for me demo. We'll turn. Looking for that barcode, waiting for that beep. Looking for that barcode, turning that, looking for that beep. Come on. There it is. Zero one six zero zero zero. Look and up UPC. We'll use our H key for heading. Betty Crocker with buttercream frosting, 12 ounces heading level five. Perfect, and we find out exactly what it is and including the ounces. Let's do one more though. We have one more product. We'll go back up to the top of the page. Find the UPC slash in code now, edit. Enter. And we see that Digitize actually doesn't save the last one in there, so we, there's nothing for us to clear out. Let's do our last product here. We've got one more to try. Zero oh, look at that, right off the nine bat. Three one. And again, we'll try our heading key. McCormick garlic salt heading level five. And we see that it is the garlic salt. So as we can tell, the uh, DigitEyes website had all three. Now, it doesn't mean that DigitEyes has everything. 
The reason I want to show you both options is because it's good to have multiple tools in your toolbox. You may have a favorite website, maybe Digitize is your favorite or Directions for Me is, but if one site doesn't have it, go and check out the other one. So using an omnidirectional barcode scanner with your computer is a great and inexpensive way to identify items in your house. If you have any questions about any other identifying products, such as the Pen Friend, which we did a video on, go and check that out, feel free to give us a call at 414-615-0103, shoot us an email at infocus at vision-forward.org, or visit us online, vision-forward.org. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.